We can rebuild him. We have the technology. But I don't want to spend a lot of money. Welcome back, everyone. Based on our last survey, it looks like a good portion of you wanted to see some more assembly techniques. So what we'll do is I'll show you how you can make some basic modifications to models. Okay, so we will start with this little heart spinner. And we'll drag this into studio. Now, typically when you drag something into studio, it is centered. Uh, if you ever have something that isn't centered, you can always right click and center it. Uh, but I would always start with the centering because you can do a lot of things from here. All right, so first thing we're going to do is actually slice this. I wanna see how this model looks. And I've printed this before. And while it spins freely, I actually want to create a stem, our little holder for it. All right, so let's go back to prepare and we can switch over to objects process. And I will actually create a cylinder anywhere outside of this model. So right click, add primitive and a cylinder. And from here, I am going to get the dimensions, or at least the Z height of this um, main part. So if we go to scale, right now the Z height is an eight. So we will set that to an eight. All right, so this is the same height. And let's extend this out a bit. So let's make this 75 in the Z. I'm gonna turn off uniform scale. All right, now we're going to rotate this on its side. And we can do that by clicking on it and rotating it 90 degrees. And since we're starting from the center, we're going to center this as well. So right click, center. Now, if we printed it like this, of course it will, um, well, one will get an error because they're uh, they're conflicting because they're running into one another. Uh, but the other thing is we actually have to bring this down just low enough to where it locks into the bottom, uh, but doesn't stop the main part from spinning. So we will go into the move tool and we're just gonna bring this down. And I'm gonna pull it all the way out first. And we'll slowly bring it back in. All right, so let's quickly assemble this and then we're going to slice it. So we're going to right click, assemble. We'll slice the plate and we're just gonna look out for a few things. So as we go down, we just have to make sure that the part that we brought in does not intersect with this part. So let's go all the way down. All right, got it first try. And of course you can play with these models. I'm going to print this and then I'm going to show you uh, some other things that you can do. All right, so I got that first try. Uh, now, normally I don't like to print cylinders on a single point, so we'll add some small supports. So we could do that just by going back to global process and we will go to the support and enable support. And now when we slice this, this green area will support the rest of the cylinder. All right, so let's slice this and I will see you on the other side. Okay, so after that first one, I realized I had made a mistake since I turned on supports, it actually added supports underneath where part of this heart goes, which I could usually just pop out, but let's actually go in and block those supports. So a really simple way of doing that. Uh, we're just going to right click on our model. We will add a support blocker. Doesn't matter what shape, but I'll do a cube. And all we're going to do is just make this large enough to block where that heart will go. And actually, let's make it the entire length. So we'll go to scale. We'll just extend this out, make this a little larger. All right, so now 
when we go to slice, we will not have the supports digging into the rest of the model. All right, so we'll print this and see how it turns out. Okay, so let's try something practical. I have a buddy who uh, is always losing a favorite item of his. So we're actually gonna combine some stuff. So let's do something where it requires no modeling, uh, which we're gonna find some readily available parts. So we will uh, take this little holder here and this AirTag holder. And once you've downloaded them, you add them into our slicer. And we're just gonna combine cut this up and combine it. All right, so first things first, let's start with the holder. We'll bring out our cut tool. We'll adjust our planes. We actually only need one of these. So slide this over. And we're just gonna perform a cut. And we can get rid of this. And the next thing, we don't need this bottom piece since it's for a charging port. So we'll do another cut. So we'll go to our cut tool and we may have to adjust the angle a bit, but we'll bring it down. And adjust our angle here, bring it down some more. And it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm a, since this is a functional piece, and he does not care how it looks. Let's go for a smidge. All right, and let's cut that. Now, since this was coming from a holder, uh, the item actually would sit kind of loose, so we're gonna shrink this. Uh, so let's go to our scale. I'm going to leave I'll leave the height alone, but we will make some adjustments to here. So since we're printing this out of TPU, I want it to fit snug. So we'll make a 90% on the X and Y, and we will leave the Z alone. All right, so now that we have that, we're just going to combine these. So easiest way to do that, we're going to center it. So right click, center, right click, center, and then we're just gonna slide this forward on the move. At any point, we can actually start to make adjustments and I'm gonna make this a little taller. So we'll go back to scale and we'll bring this up a bit. And I just wanna make sure that the part of this we're not covering up the small hole so we can shove a keychain through it. All right, let's move that back a little bit more. And we don't have to do anything fancy. We just have to make sure that they're intersecting. And I'll bring that out a little bit more. I'm looking at the bottom. All right, so that looks good. And since this is an air tag, actually I may have to flip this. So that's what I get for not paying attention. All right, so on the Z, we will flip this 180. We wanna make sure that the wider part allows us to get the actual tag in. All right, let's assemble this. So I just held shift, right click, assemble. And I'm actually gonna be making this in TPU. And 
Well, that's in my back holder, but I have black TPU. All right, so I will print this and I'll show you what it looks like on the other side. Okay, since I'm going to make this out of TPU, I will actually go into my TPU settings and I have my back spool holder set for TPU. And I should not need to do anything with supports, but I'm actually gonna print this and I'll see how it turns out. All right, so basically it's, uh, you can find models that are close to what you need, cut them up, add them together, and go from there. Okay, so we'll try another practical application and we're going to take this keyhole negative and add it into one of our parts. So we'll download this and drag it into the slicer. Now this project, I'm gonna zoom out, was the uh, Master Sword as well as a um, Hylian Shield as a wall mount. And this piece all the way down here is what actually would normally get double-sided tape to go to a wall. I didn't think it was very sturdy, so I wanted to actually add some keyholes. So typically what you'll do is just start with your item in the center. And we're actually going to clone this. We'll make two of them. And since we actually want the smaller part going against the wall, we actually have to flip these. So actually, let's reverse both of these. And even though they're going to be negative parts, we're going to make both of these a different color. So you'll see what's happening. All right, so this is centered, really easy. Right click, center, and I'll show you what this looks like from the bottom. I'm just gonna use the arrow keys. So one, two, three, four, and we'll do the same thing here. So right click, center, opposite direction, one, two, three, four. Okay, so now that we have both of these here, let's assemble. So I'm just holding shift, highlighting everything, right click, assemble, so pretty straightforward. And we're going to turn both of these guys into negative parts. So that's just a simple right click, change type, negative. Right click, change type, negative. And now when we slice, we have holes that should be pretty good for mounting. Now looking at this may not be a big deal. I'm going to shrink these down just, let's say 10%. So we'll go back to pr uh, prepare. So we'll just shrink these down, which is just a simple click on the keyhole and we will go to scale, uh, make sure uniform scale is off, and we'll just drop this down 10%. So 90, 90, I'm gonna keep the Z height the same, and we'll do the same thing here. We'll do 90 and 90. We'll slice again. Yeah, not too bad. Actually, it looks about the same. All right, we'll just call it. So at the moment, we should be in good shape. So I will print this and we'll see how it looks.
As always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And thanks for watching.